It's actually, this is very pretty. Let's have a look from here. See the others just disappearing down on the dam wall. Connor should start to pick them up now. If he looks by the Balanites tree, he should start to see them. They're coming out. Run, 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 little one. <laughs> Well, they're full of beans today. I thought with a big belly like that, that they might have been on the sluggish side, but that doesn't seem to be stopping them. Sorry, Jerry. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I didn't understand that. So apparently you're looking at the, everything from the drone now, which must be very cool. And I would love to, oh, I'd actually absolutely love to see what it must look like. Lots of water. You can see one lioness coming through the water. You're going to hear me. I'm going to have to keep on driving now because I want to catch up to these lions. So I apologize. You're going to hear my engine going as I chat over. And you should see they use the same network. You notice that they followed each other. One led the way all the way down to the edge of the water. And I'm sure you're going to probably see the hippos start to turn around and start to face those lions as well. They might give a bit of a snort. And I wonder whereabouts they're going to go. I wonder what's going to be the best view for us. But now you can get a big view of how full uh, Buffalo's Hook Dam really is. And isn't that lovely? Oh, beautiful. They're all lining up as lions like to do. And there's a bit of mist and haze, but as the sun gets warmer and warmer, that is going to... Oh, little one you got left behind. That mist will burn away. I'm actually going to come down so we can get a really nice close-up view of these lions in a moment, of them drinking water. Come on, little one. There's a little one crying it's like it's lost. It doesn't realize that they're all just down here. Oh, David, how beautiful is this? And I can see my favorite little girl. Yes, there's, there's David and I with the lions. Wave, David. Okay. <laughs> But this is be absolutely beautiful, isn't it? So we've got one, two, three adult lions. Here we go. Now you should be able to see them lapping up the water. We've changed view. Come on, little lion. I can hear this one calling frantically, but it just needs to go past the tall grass, and then it'll be fine. And then it'll be able to find the rest. Can you hear it? I wish I could respond for that little cub. There's a blacksmith lapwing shouting. There we go. Just about to be reunited with its family. Look there, this is the one that was left at the carcass. Oh, very happy to be home. And now normally the lionesses would have responded to that call, but as you can imagine, they're very thirsty and they're very busy at the moment. So the last thing that they want to do is have to call a little cub in as, that is just a couple of feet away from reuniting with the rest of them. Oh, I'm so happy. Welcome home, Nkahumas, welcome home. Now we just need your two sisters to come back and join you guys. And then you'll be a one big happy family again. The lions seem chuffed, the birds aren't, the Egyptian geese are shouting, the blacksmith lapwing and the three-banded plover are all giving their alarm calls now. Warning everybody else around here that they are large predators. And the hippopotamus have disappeared underwater. <laughs> they seem to be a little bit on the frightened side. I don't blame them. I'd probably also duck for cover if a group of lions like this approached me. This is beautiful. 